so I may be in a little bit of trouble and 3D printing is going to be the solution. The missus has been asking me to fix some problems around the house for a little while now to improve on a couple of things that I really should have done yeah, a, a fair amount of time ago. So today we're going to be 3D printing to fix those problems and finally get them done. So the first problem that I've been putting off for a long time is finding a place to actually put our projector. The bedroom where we watch our TV and stuff at night, it's on a projector on the big wall. But right now we have this on a air conditioning unit and it's just sort of stood there. And the air conditioning unit is on a bedside table. It's not ideal. I said months ago that I would, oh, I'll, I'll design and 3D print a projector stand. It's absolutely fine. We can wall mount it. Not a pro yeah, we're, we're still, we still haven't done that. So I set out and started designing a wall mount for the projector to actually sit on. Now, this actually turned out fine and I'm happy with how it looked. However, I ran into an issue. It's too big to print. To print this, it's going to take me probably like 15 to 20 hours and I just don't have that time. So instead, I just jumped onto Bamboo Studio and well, we downloaded this 3D print here, which to be fair is better than mine. And we printed this off. This projector mount came out absolutely perfect. I'm actually really impressed with how well thought out of this and you can move it side to side and it balances nicely. I don't think it fits perfectly with my projector but the little bit of double-sided tape and whatnot it works pretty fine it just has a couple of bolts so you can hold it all together and you can swivel it around nicely honestly such an easy simple print and i mean all printed in one plate so i can't complain it's definitely sturdier than the one that i made as well probably so with number one completely done and out of the way it was time to take a look at job number two and this is as you can see here a cricket machine station where there's a laptop the cricket machine and a little bit of a workspace where my missus likes to you know all the craft stuff that she does that she needs to use for her work and she picks off all the little bits of paper and stuff when she weeds all the, the the designs off anyone who uses cricket you'll know exactly what i mean tiny little pieces of paper and stickers and all stuff gets everywhere so what she wanted was a little drawer underneath the desk so that she could just pull that out and scoop that stuff into there rather than trying to pick them up all individually this way you can just take the drawer tip it in the bin and the cleaning job is a million times easier so because this is 3d printing of course there's going to be a million choices of under desk drawers this is not going to be something that i'm going to struggle to find and i'm not going to design one myself because why I had a quick search and yeah it took me about i don't know 15 seconds to find a drawer that i was happy with and i 3d printed this off it was really easy it was super fast honestly this is what makes 3d printing so damn useful things like when you need something in the house and you think okay i could go out and buy a drawer and i could screw it in and it would be really expensive probably instead i just printed one of these off it cost me what like maybe 50 pence if that in plastic um and then you just gotta screw it to your drawer and boom look at this this drawer is absolutely perfect for what it is it's not too big so you know she can't put tons of stuff in there and she'll have to empty it every now and again you can't leave it over full you know uh, but at the same time it holds plenty for each time that you're gonna sit down and actually do this so hey it's perfect so while this video may just be me thinking, you know what, I have to do this job, this job, and this job, I could turn this into a video and post it as well. This is a brand new channel. We have three subscribers right now. So thank you to you guys, whoever you are. But if you guys want to help support the channel and help it grow and keep the content coming, I would very much appreciate it. And I'll do my best to make sure the quality of content just gets better and better and is always as good as I can do. Anyway, let's get back to the video. So these next things are very simple things, but for anybody who has kids or if you're, you're going to be having kids, consider these in the future. They're going to be massive lifesavers and be able to 3D print them is huge. And the first one is simply just going to be some plug socket, so socket, 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 what plug socket covers. The ones that you buy from the, the store, they're just little pieces of plastic, white pieces of plastic. They go inside the socket and then kids can't stick anything in there. I need a couple more of these just to dot around here and there. Of course, the kids' rooms are all done, but they're getting a little bit taller now. They can reach sockets that they could never have even reached in the past, and they're not quite there yet. But it's just you gotta be you gotta be ahead of it because they'll pull something over, they'll stand on it. You just you just gotta be ahead of it. These were so small and so quick to print that by the time that they actually did print, I probably wouldn't have even been back from buying them myself. The next one, though, is, again, something insanely simple and easy, but it has been a lifesaver for the fact that our kids are getting older. <laughs> the, the youngest one loves to try and get in everywhere that they're not allowed to go. A door wedge. Now, it's, it's just a door wedge. Things like this are insanely useful. 3D printers are perfect for this sort of thing, especially just like, like personal use 3D printers. Obviously, you can use them to make so many different things. We have this light back here. If you haven't seen the previous video about the gaming space stuff, this is fully 3D printed. Check this out. So is the potion lamp next to it. I'm so bad at this. There you go. Um, so you can make some really cool things, right? But 
Simple things like door wedges as well is such a good investment to do. And honestly, if you haven't thought about this sort of thing, grab a door wedge, pop it in the door, kids can't get in. It's absolutely perfect. Nice and easy to print. Doesn't take long at all. Make it 100% infill, probably. Make it a little bit safer, a little bit stronger. But otherwise, yeah, perfect. These sort of prints, absolutely awesome. Now, the last thing that I needed to do was to create some hooks for the kitchen. Now, when I say hooks, I'm thinking on the lines of towel hooks or uh, anywhere that you can hang all of your like your cleaning stuff and that sort of thing. I found this hook here that actually has a tea towel holder on the outside of the door. But on the inside of the door, it has three hooks that you can put your spray bowls and all your cleaning stuff like that underneath your kitchen sink. This is perfect. This does two things in one print and I love it. The next thing that I found as well was just some regular old door hooks that you can hang over it and you can actually just hang all of your tea towels on there again these were nice and quick prints but they do make a difference in the day-to-day -day use of your kitchen you've got more storage because you're hanging these off of the door now let's not talk about this cupboard it is a this is why this is exactly this is exactly why i've printed this hook because man you can't find anything in this cupboard and when you need these spray bottles well well now you know where they are and that's how 3d printing has fixed some of the jobs that i've needed to do around here for a little while i think i'm safe on this one however there are some other jobs that I've been meaning to do for a while, like get up in the loft and clear that bit out for a while. If anyone knows a way to 3D print my way out of that one, let me know in the comments. Maybe I can just 3D print a lock for my door and never leave this room. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys found this enjoyable. If you did, leave a like, sub to the channel if you are new around here, and I'll catch you on the next one. Catch you later, guys. Bye.